When I was wee, we didn't have BT Sport or Sky Sport or Celtic TV. I never even had a telly. I'd spend my week getting at hard graft, getting at welly for pennies. I'm telling you. Pal, you don't know how lucky you've got it. You see, when my dad was working, quite often down at the yards and my ma would give me some change for the game. But if I stuck an old man's booze up my jersey, he'd lift me out of the turnstile to see the game. And I'd spend that change and I'm at it in while listening to the tune of the jungle boys making noise. It was paradise for me as a young boy. And as I grew up and went out with my pals, we drank thunder, tried colours in the ceiling while feeling that this is something special. Though no marriage material, as my plans are far from Glasgow's territorial schemes and it seems my pals praying to their tonic wine is a sign that this life isn't meant to be. So I kept it Celtic, only Celtic. I kept my scarf tucked into my chest, jacket zipped up, hiding my crest. I sung Celtic stories and a Celtic bar to the tune of tin whistle, mandolin and acoustic guitar that adrenaline. My heart beats to the sound of the drum and what you know now is section 111. My toes are numb, I'm not the only one. My true love seats 60,000. My true love is anything wrapped in white and green. Me and your mother surrounded by absolute scenes. I grew up in love with the Celtic supporters. No, the Calton Toms are rebel songs, but a club like no other. You see, when I was wee, we didn't have toys under the tree in December, but socks with the holes in them was what I asked for, and the best Christmas of all, a Celtic tap and a football. When I was wee, we didn't have BT Sport or Sky Sport or Celtic TV. As a Celtic fan now, pal, you don't know how lucky you've got it.